We're here to redeem the time. Welcome to Grade 7 Natural Science, Relationship of the Moon to the Earth, Tides, Part 1. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button below. And in the description below, you'll find links to other videos on this topic. You will need pen and paper for the activities that follow. So pause the video now, get your pen and paper, and when you're ready, continue. What causes the tides? Tides are the predictable, repeated rise and fall of sea and ocean levels. Predictable means tides always happen as expected. The Bay of Fundy is in Canada. The ebb tide is when the tide is going out and the sea level is falling. The flood tide is when the tide is coming in, the sea level is rising. Tides ebb and flow. The tidal range is the vertical difference between high tide and low tide. We could say the height difference. High tide is when the water level is higher. Low tide is when the water level is lower. And the tidal range is the height difference or vertical difference. These are boats stranded, left behind on the shore at low tide. Tidal charts give information that can be used to know the best time to surf, fish, or boat. South Africa's busiest port, Durban. This is a tide chart for Durban. The peaks are high tides and the troughs are low tides. The tides rise and fall. Rise, fall, rise, fall, and rise. The dark bands are nighttime. The light bands are daytime. We have the time starting from 12 midnight of one day to 12 midnight of the next day. That time of 24 hours is one day. If we look at the during that 24 hours, we see that there are two high tides, two purple stars, and two low tides, two red stars. A tidal day is 24 hours and 50 minutes. South Africa's coastlines have two high tides and two low tides each day. But because the tidal day is 50 minutes longer than the 24 hour day, tomorrow the tides are about 50 minutes later. Let's have a closer look at, this, at the tidal chart of time versus height. We see at low tide, that the time for that low tide is at 9.30 a.m. We can also read that at the top of the tide chart, and we can read the height 0.3 meters. The high tide, we can read the time 3.41 p.m. Also, we can read that at the top of the chart, and then we read the height of the high tide, it's 1.9 meters. So if we take 1.9 meters subtracted from 0.3 meters, we get 1.6 meters, and that is the tidal range. Let's look at the tide chart for one week. We see at the beginning of the week, there's a maximum tidal range, and that's called a spring tide. And at the end of the week, we see a minimum tidal range. That's called a neap tide. We're now going to look at the gravity of Earth, the moon's gravity, and the sun's gravity. Earth's gravity keeps water on Earth's surface. Oceans cover about 71% of Earth's surface. The water in Earth's oceans is connected. It is one liquid body. The tides on Earth are caused mainly by the gravity of the Moon. On Earth's surface, the Moon's gravitational force is 10 million times smaller than the Earth's gravitational force. The gravity of the Moon pulls on the Earth and on water in the seas and oceans. Liquids are easily deformed. A water balloon changes shape when squeezed. If there were no moon, the liquid body of Earth's oceans would be shaped like a basketball. 
the moon's gravity causes the liquid body of Earth's oceans to be shaped like a rugby ball. With no moon, we see the oceans shaped like a basketball. And with the moon, we see the oceans shaped like a rugby ball. The gravitational attraction of the moon causes the liquid body of Earth's oceans and seas to bulge along the Earth-Moon line. The line linking the center of the moon and the Earth is called the Earth-Moon line. This is a tidal bulge in the ocean. A bulge is a curved bump. There are two tidal bulges. They are on opposite sides of the Earth. A tidal bulge on the side of Earth closest to the moon and a tidal bulge on the side of Earth farthest from the moon. These are high tides. We also have low tides. As the Earth rotates and a location moves through a tidal bulge, it experiences a high tide. As the moon revolves around the Earth, the tidal bulges track the moon. Track means to follow. The moon orbits the Earth in the same direction as the Earth rotates. The time for a location to be directly beneath the moon again is 24 hours and 50 minutes. The time from one moonrise to the next moonrise is 24 hours and 50 minutes. A tidal day is 24 hours and 50 minutes. The sun's gravitational force on the Earth's surface is weaker than the moon's. Although the sun's mass is much greater than the moon's mass, it is much further away from the Earth. The combined gravitational pull of the sun and the moon. When the moon aligns with the sun, the sun's gravity adds to the moon's gravity. Aligns with means in line with. The sun's tidal bulge adds to the moon's tidal bulge. As a result, tidal bulges are bigger. High tides are higher than usual and low tides are lower than usual. This occurs at new moon and at full moon. We have a higher high tide and a lower low tide, a maximum tidal range. The tide's range is at a maximum and it is called a spring tide because the sea level springs up. It rises up, it jumps up. At other times, the Earth's gravity is at right angles 90 degrees to the moon's gravity. The sun's tidal bulge is about half the size of the moon's tidal bulge. The sun's tidal bulge partially cancels out the moon's tidal bulge. As a result, tidal bulges are smaller. This occurs at first quarter moon and at third quarter moon. We have a lower high tide and a higher low tide, a minimum tidal range. The tide's range is at a minimum and it is called a neap tide. Spring tide, straight line up, neap tide, 90 degree angle. 90 is a neap, straight line up, spring. 90 degrees neap, straight line up, spring. There are two spring tides and two neap tides each lunar month. A lunar month is 29 and a half days long. This is Durban beachfront. This is damage caused by the high tides of a spring tide. A storm with strong winds at the same time as a spring high tide produced eight and a half meter high swells. At Belito, the coast was eroded and property damaged. The property was built too close to the high water mark and on a mixture of sand and rock. Repairs were done and natural coastal vegetation planted. Sand dunes and natural vegetation absorb wave energy. Pause the video and answer the questions. When you're done, continue. Pause the video and correct your work. When you're done, continue. Sources. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord show you his kindness. May he have mercy on you. 
May the Lord watch over you and give you peace.